Hi everyone, so welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be testing out the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation. I'm in the shade Toasty Toffee. I just got a sample yesterday. So cute! Similar skin tone to me, then perhaps this will work out for you. So give it a go. I just wanted to get a sample because I make a mistake of always buying the foundation. Because when you try it out in the stores, because of the lighting, it just looks great. And then you leave and it looks horrendous. But you know when you have a sample, you can like work it the way you want to work it. Like I tried it on yesterday and I really liked it. But I didn't like the fact that I didn't colour correct. So it looked a little bit like just a smidge of bit ashy on me. But... Anyway, so if you want to find out how I did this look, then keep on watching. I feel like it's a good match. This is Toasty Toffee. Hopefully, if you have a similar skin tone to me, I can help you guys out. Because, honest to God, like, I'm literally always looking for girls with a similar skin tone to me on YouTube. And the two girls that I go by is Anushka. I'll put her name down below. And Nikki Secrets, who I've been watching for years. Again, I'll put her name down below. And she's a Leicester girl, so big up Leicester. Let's get started make this video a bit more interesting I've got up some questions on my phone it, I think it's a get to know me tag so this is a hyaluronic acid like this stuff has really helped my skin a lot like a lot because I used to use majority of the other stuff um majority of my skincare I've made a video on this so I just need to edit and upload it but yeah so the only thing I've changed in my skincare routine is the hyaluronic acid and honest to god I just feel like it's amazing, it restores hydration, my skin is looking dewy in the morning, my skin is supple, my skin is smooth and I just love it so much. So the first question is what is your name? Um, you can probably tell from my YouTube handle my name is Alicia, <laughs> I'm 26 years of age. I was so crazy growing up. I don't want to grow up. But yeah. So I've just put some moisturiser on. This is what my friend got me. It's amazing. This is an Olay Total Effect 7 in 1 anti aging moisturiser. Do its thing. Um, How tall are you? I am short. <laughs> I feel like most Indian girls are very short. I'm um 5 foot 3. Well, actually, I'm not. 5 foot 2 and a half. But for the longest time, I thought I was 5 foot 3. I might even be five foot two in a little bit, but I'm gonna claim as I'm five foot two and a half. Funniest moment throughout high school. So I guess we call it secondary school here in the UK. Um, but the funniest moment. <laughs> I feel like I'm always dying when I tell everyone this story. Honestly, this was a highlight of my. So I just like to cover up my hyperpigmentation. I think my hyperpigmentation is getting a lot better. Um, so that's always good. I try not to put too much because it will peek through if you don't let it do its thing. And I just put a little bit here. Anyway, back to my funny story. When I was in year eight, um, I remember going to my science class. Oh my god, I look horrendous, but I have to tell you this story. We have, um, you know how we have benches and we have like those stools and you kind of, there was a spot at the front with my friends. So I kind of went, there was no stools there, so I had to go all the way to the back to then grab a stool and then come all the way to the front. So I went to the back, the teacher's, you know, talking. I grabbed the stool and I'm walking. I don't know what happened, my leg caught, my leg got caught on this second bench from the back, so not the first, the last bench, the one before that, my leg got caught onto it and I fell, and I mean, alright, I'm going to have to show you this, that's not funny, but, <laughs> I mean, I should have, this is, right, you guys have to pause this story because I need to work on this quickly, leg literally gets caught and I fell, so this is me, I literally fell flat on my face, I'm not even joking, I don't know what happened, I fell flat, and I've never fallen in front of people, so that was my first time falling um, experience. So I literally fell, and the stool goes flying to the front, like literally it's making so much noise, it's going and goes right to the front and hits um, like a desk we have at the front. And I'm just on the floor, like I'm literally just like on the floor. My teacher comes rushing over to me, everyone in my classroom have all stood up, they're like, what is this loud bang, what is Anisha doing on the floor, and I'm just like, embarrassed as hell my teacher comes over and she's like oh my god are you okay are you okay and i'm like yes like i'm okay i was so embarrassed i was literally like yeah i'm all right like and i literally got up and i went and sat down oh my god it was the most embarrassing lesson of the whole year of the whole time i was in school like everyone remembered me with the girl who fell but yeah it is what is your favorite drink I don't know if that's alcoholic or non-alcoholic. I don't drink much. Um, as in like 
fizzy drinks. I don't drink non-alcoholic wise, sorry. I don't drink a lot. Um, I just drink water, like my favourite go-to drink. Like I know it's really sad. But sorry, I'm just gonna use the foundation now. I don't like I just feel like fizzy drinks don't settle with my skin. I'm just not happy with it, like in my body. <laughs> I only tried it yesterday, but it's a good colour match for me. I really like it. A lady didn't like do the whole correct colour correcting on my face, so I was sceptical of loving it, but I quite like it. I like the finish I get um, with this foundation. <laughs> okay, you're wearing perfume. What scent is it? This is a good question because I'm more of a florally kind of person. Um, I think my favourite right now, I have a lot, like I love perfume in general. I love the Victoria's Secret sprays a lot, like I'm always using them. But I like um, J'adore by Dior. That was like my expensive. mad at this foundation and I just take it down my neck so annoying I've just developed there we go gosh this camera is literally showing me all the hairs I have on my face okay so I'm happy with the coverage yeah I'm really happy around my mouth this is good this is good stuff what sports do you play or have you played but I'm not a sports player, like back in school and I would always write fake notes to my PE teacher saying, you know, I'm ill. So I'd sign it off as if it's my mum or dad. Oh gosh, I'm not good at this. So I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm using it in the shade Caramel. I really like this, so I'll kind of just work it around my thing. So yeah, back to my story. I don't play sports. Anyway, just to brighten up that, because caramel is pretty much like similar to my shade. Um, I heart shape tape concealer in the colour tan sand. Kind of, kind of, just to brighten it, because I feel like, oh yeah, this 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 is looking good. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some on the edge of my. I'm just gonna let that set a little bit whilst I go and wet my beauty blender and I'll be back. Okay, finish off that question. I don't play sports, I don't do sports. I mean, I'd probably, like, I don't know, I enjoy playing badminton occasionally, but it's not something like I'm passionate about. So who are your favorite YouTubers? Ah, oh, this is a long story. I have so many, honestly. I watch so many people, which is why they've, you know, inspired me to kind of make this video or start my own channel. But honestly, I've been watching YouTube since I was 14 and I'm now 26. So that's a long time. Uh, my first person that I watched was the OG, I think it was Purse Buzz. I watched her, I watched Fafina X3. Honestly, it's crazy, my addiction to YouTube. It all started because my mum bought me a curling tongue when I was 14. I had no idea how to use it. And I was like, let me Google it, you know, because you're 14 years old, that's what you do to get the answers. So YouTube popped up and then Perspers popped up and I was like hooked on it. I would stay awake till three in the morning. Just watching it, it got to a point where my dad had to take my computer off me. And it was like one of those brick computers. It was not, you know, ideal situation. But I used to have a bunk bed so I'd have it underneath. Uh, so I go through phases where I watch um, makeup videos or I'll watch vlogs or I'll watch fitness. As a fitness, I really like Buff Bunny. Why can't I think? You know when you put someone in depression, you can't think. That's really me right now. Whitney Simmons, oh my god, how could I forget you? I absolutely love her videos and her dogs are so freaking cute. But yeah, in terms of makeup, I love Nikki Secrets, love Anushka, I love Anshul, I love Oh god, I know Patrick Star. I really like. Uh, I like Dipika a lot. I, I really want to get her um, Q-stick skin. It's looking flawless. Like, I'm very happy with this base, actually. So this foundation is getting a yes from me. We'll try and do a test wear. <laughs> what is your go-to hairstyle? You know, do you have any bad habits? And I do. I have loads of bad habits. <laughs> 
because who doesn't you know we all have bad habits right I'm using the urban decay all nighter um setting spray i really like this spray a bad habits question obviously why am i not wanting to answer it <laughs> i bite my nails i know it's not attractive i'm not trying to be attractive i don't condition my hair i don't brush my hair what else do i not do also on the brushing hair business I have very silky hair, honestly, there's no knots in it. Even after I shower, I honestly do not do anything. We just got a parcel. Don't we just love Amazon? It's like next day delivery. I'm all bad habits, I'm trying to think. I don't always make my bed. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay guys, so I took a very long break. I got a phone call from my friend, I was trying to deal with that. I got hungry because... Whoopsie. <laughs> it's just like some peanuts with tomatoes and onions and lemon and salt and chilli and mmm it's so good mm -mm 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 -mm. I kind of finished my makeup look and I'm really happy with it honestly guys I've never been so much happier with a foundation than I have with this one so two thumbs up I'm very 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 happy girl and I have noticed this doesn't crease as much as other foundations do. I mean, I naturally have a crease when I smile, so you can see, like with every other foundation I've tried, like I will get smile lines like this. It's not a joke and it's just dry and ashy looking and I just wasn't happy with it. Whereas with this foundation, I know it's meant to be matte. Do you know what? I should really bring it up. Let's have a look what Estee Lauder wear is all about. Called the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation Makeup. Why am I saying makeup? foundation um it's got spf 10 in it which is good and the color 4w2 toasty toffee and honestly i'm very happy with it so i was speaking to the lady yesterday um she said that they go to like different why am i i'm not focusing yeah she said that they go to like different cities and like get pictures of different people so they can kind of make amazing shades she did say there's 60 shades which is Amazing. Here we go. Right, keep skin looking fabulous, breathing conf- Clear down English. Keep skin looking fabulous, breathing comfortably through heat, humidity and activity. I mean, I'm not- it's really cold outside, so. Without changing colour, fading or coming off on clothes, which is good, because I really liked the Fenty Beauty Foundation. But I felt like it oxidised a lot, like it looked really good on when you put it on first. My brother even said to me, like, your face looks really dark all of a sudden. Natural matte finish, again, like, I've got dry skin, like I mentioned. But this foundation, I feel like, doesn't look drying on me. I think it looks, I mean, it doesn't look matting. It doesn't look matte on me. I really like it. Again, it comes down to the skincare and it comes down to how your skin will perform. So I would definitely recommend the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. Like, that stuff is the bomb hope you guys like it too and if you want me to do any more videos or if you want to trial any foundations out i might actually have all those foundations you would probably want me to try because honestly the amount of foundations i've accumulated over the years is actually insane and trying to find the right um shade trying to find the right um foundation is such a key please don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know if you have any other video recommendations um i'll be more than happy to do them but yes yeah, so i'm trying to introduce this thing where at the end of my videos i want to leave a positive message and today's message is going to be today's message is going to be it kind of re resonates with my day yesterday where i passed my exam i'm currently studying SEMA and i sat the e1 paper so i just want to say if you work hard enough for anything and that goes with anything in life if you work hard you will achieve your goals so don't let any knockbacks or any failures um stop you from still achieving your goals so just work hard smash your goals and live your best life so yes bye hi everyone so welcome to my channel and if you're new here my name is Anisha. i think everyone is new that doesn't help because it's a new channel voila it's working <laughs> so hi everyone okay that's so weird hi everyone hi everyone hello hi everyone i don't know how people do this hi my name is Anisha and i ramble a lot so i'm going to be filming a video because i find i'm going to be felt who have the same skin type as me I find it so hard to find girls on YouTube to hit. Like, it's so hard to even talk. <laughs> but anyway, I diverge. Diverse. What's the word? I'm not going to go as Ida. Ida? God, my leg is itchy. Oh. 
Oh gosh, did I miss my face? Just keep hands moving. Oh, I just have to do. You know what?